space. Man has looked up at the stars and dreamed of being a part of what lies beyond. This is a story of one of man's greatest achievements. Through the conflict of a heated competition between the Soviet Union and the United States, a space race began and ended with a man actually walking on the moon. Man's dream of being a part of the beyond was finally achieved. To beat the Soviets to the moon, many compromises were made to reach the final goal. This is the greatest story of the 20th century. This is the story of the space race. After World War II, the Soviet Union and the United States were in a cold war of espionage and propaganda. Each country spied on the other. They also wanted to show the world which side had scientific power and military strength. Space was the perfect track to have a race. Satellites could spy, and spacewalks could prove who's the best. The same rockets that could send a human into orbit or put a man on the moon could send an atom bomb to a specific enemy city. The stakes were high, the race was on. In order to reach the moon fast, compromises were made and the cost was in human lives being lost on both sides. Scientists were pressured to speed up launch dates without the proper safety precautions being followed. This lack of safety cost billions of dollars in destroyed spacecrafts as well as the cost of human lives. Runners, on your mark, get set. The Soviets sent a satellite, Sputnik 1, to circle the Earth. One month later, the Soviets put a dog in space to see the effects on animals. She survived for a week and died when her air was used up. The U.S. sends their satellite, Explorer 1, in space. We discover that radiation was trapped in the Earth's magnetic field. The U.S., Pioneer 3, fails to reach the moon. We were hoping to measure the moon's radiation to see if it was safe. The Soviets, Luna 2, crashes on the moon. We were all having a hard time getting something up there. The Soviets finally get Luna 3 to the moon and send pictures back. Now we know for sure that the moon is not made out of cheese. The U.S. puts a chimpanzee named Ham in outer space. Ham is pretty sandwiched in. There is no monkeying around in outer space. The Soviet Union shocks the world by sending the first man in outer space. Yuri Gagarin orbits the Earth in his first flight that lasts under two hours. The U.S. puts Alan Shepard in space for a little over 15 minutes. President Kennedy announces that we will put a man on the moon before 1970. That's less than nine years away. The race is on, big time. John Glenn is the first American to orbit the Earth. He became a senator after that. The Soviets put a woman in space and she orbits Earth 48 times, over 70 hours of flight in space. That's 280 times longer than Alan Shepard. Man, the U.S. is getting their tails whipped and by a woman. The Soviets have the first man to walk in space, Alexei Leonov. The U.S. sends Ed White to take a walk in space too. The U.S. sends Lunar Orbiter 1 to map the moon for potential landing sites. The U.S lost three astronauts in a fire on Apollo 1. Virgil Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chafee. The tragedy delays the Apollo moon program by 19 months. Three months after the Apollo 1 deaths, Soyuz 1 crash lands and kills cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov. The US launches Apollo 8, the first people to orbit the moon. Neil Armstrong takes one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind when he becomes the first person to walk on the moon. 
Eight and a half years after President Kennedy made his pledge, the U.S. achieved his goal. The conflict of the Cold War sent the Soviet Union and United States into a space race, where the United States eventually won. However, the compromises that were made along the way resulted in the greatest loss of all, human life. The end result was a great achievement for mankind. Many sacrifices were made to reach that goal. In the end, the United States spent $24 billion and three astronauts lost their lives. Many more dollars would be spent in the years to come and, unfortunately, more lives would be given as well. Man continues to look at the stars and dream of what lies beyond. Perhaps one day we'll live on the moon or maybe take vacations to Mars. Why can't the cars we drive take us to outer space? We are only limited by our imagination.